Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Joshua, and I'm going to be presenting you guys with a better ability to go ahead and keep your desktop or your workspace a little bit more organized than what you're actually seeing right in front of you. Um, with most people's computers, um, they have all their program icons placed on their desktop, and sometimes it can get a little cluttered. Um, and the best way to do that is to use a dock. The dock that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be the Nexus Ultimate dock. Uh, that dock is uh, basically object dock and rocket dock on steroids. Um, I haven't really experienced any dock like it. Um, I actually purchased it and I would highly encourage you guys to purchase it as well. Um, I'm not necessarily selling them out just that I usually get my software usually for free through um, pirated sites, but I would highly suggest you guys get this because it's a very, very good dock. Um, it's made by Winstep. Um, you can go to winstep.net and uh, check them out. Uh, but this right here is, to me, a mess, uh, this workspace. Uh, I couldn't live with a workspace or a desktop that looks like this with all the icons all laid out like that. Uh, another eyesore for me is the shortcut arrows that you guys see here. Um, somewhat irritating. Also, thirdly, is that if I have a dream scene or a background wallpaper, um, I, I really prefer to enjoy it because I'm applying it to the desktop for a reason because I want to go ahead and see it. And with all the icons laid out, um, it's really kind of hard to do that. So um, let's go ahead and exit out of here. And uh, as you can see, I do have a dream scene uh, laid out right now. Um, I will go ahead and start the Nexus Ultimate dock, and it'll be presented to you right now. Um, this dock uh, has been customized by me, um, and I have edited all the icons, as you can see. Um, what this has it has the ability to create sub docs it has the ability to create executable um, file paths um, and whatnot also uh, it has so many different effects it has so many customizable um, ways to enjoy this dock um, and the the context of steroids on this dock is just like unimaginable um, just to give you a little preview on what this has let's go to dock properties you can see all these options that you have go ahead and go to the position um, here you can see how, how big it gets how small the icons get um, the behavior I mean there's so much different options you can go ahead and create to uh, make this dock function the way that you want it to but the main thing that I'm focused on is that when you have icons here let's say you install a program and the icons get placed here um, what I usually do is let's just say for example I'm gonna go ahead and um, install these and these develop on here um, what I usually do is I just drag these either on top of here and allow them to stay as icons or what I can do is I can put them into a sub dock and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this right now. That's not quite working the way I want it to. All right. So basically, what I can do is I can place that inside like so, and like so again. And um, what I usually do, in order to go ahead and save myself the time of right-clicking this and unchecking that and making this appear for some reason they always tend to appear I don't know why let's just say they were on there what I usually do is I highlight each icon I right click on it I go to properties and I click hidden or if it's just one icon I go to properties I go to general and I click hidden and that's applied like so go to general click hidden and then it's shown like that. 
Um, another feature of this Nexus Ultimate Dock is the shelf right here. Um, you can create shelves by going to the um, Add New Tab option. You can create different types, whether it be a folder path, startup type, um, active tasks. You know, basically stuff that you, you usually bleh, you usually um, work with. Um, I already have my shelves. Um, these are the only shelves I I need really, except for this one. Let's get rid of that. But let's say, for example, like the control panel. You can, if you have a middle mouse, you can go ahead and or scroll, go ahead and go down the list, or you can double click on it, and it'll expand. And you can customize it. Um, desktop, uh, computer, where the drives are, and the main area, like so. Also, um, as far as the trash can goes, it has a standard trash can, but this trash can. I found on a site called DeviantArt. Um, also, when you install a program and it becomes on your desktop and uh, it has a crappy looking icon, the best way to find a better quality icon is going to Google. Let's say, for example, I left this one by itself. Uh, Sugar Sync Manager, you can see how pixely it is, right? So all I have to do is I have to go to Google and click on Images and then I just type in um, the icon that I'm looking for and always end with PNG. PNG allows it not to have like a uh, let's say a white background or a background at all. It's just very see-through like see as you can see. Um, so I'll go ahead and search for the image that I'm looking for and under Google Images you can see that you'll see better resolution um, icons and just pick the ones that you want. I would usually go up to 160 by 160 and up to 512 by 512. Those are pretty good icons. But let's take a look at this one. This is a PNG. Always make sure that you have this as a PNG. Oh, didn't mean to do that. This can be a little um, irritating somewhat, but uh, I tend not to worry too much about it. Alright, so I'll go ahead and go to full size. I will go ahead and right click on it, save image as. Uh, Sugar sync, I will save it into a folder that I plan on uh, using and collaborating all my icons. So I created a folder under Windows called All Icons. I'll save it here. And uh, when that's done, what I'll do is I'll right click on here, the dock entry items or properties. I'll go ahead and change uh, the icon by clicking here, going under browse. Then I will go where that folder location path is, where I saved it at, under Windows, then All Icons, then Sugar Sync. And I will go ahead and click open. If you can't see your icons, if you can only see the um, words, I would suggest clicking on the thumbnail options. Let's say, for example, extra large thumbnails, or you just probably just want the large ones. Alright, so select Sugar Sync, press Open, press OK, and you'll see that the resolution has been become a uh, higher resolution. So it looks a lot better. Um, also, what I would suggest, if you have a collection of uh, programs, let's say like Office Professional Plus, where it has all these programs in one, I would create a subdoc by right-clicking, insert new doc item called subdoc then go to the doc properties name your sub doc whatever you want let's say Microsoft Office Pro Plus changing the icon by browsing where you need to this is the current icon well I can go ahead and go over here select that icon press open press OK press OK and um, let's just say this I this doc was sub doc was empty all I have to do is go to the core folder where all that is, um, Microsoft Office. And what I would usually do, being that I had to do these one out of a time, I would normally right click on Office 2010, send to desktop, and then highlight all these. And where in view, I would go ahead and drag them until they pop in 
and once they pop in then you're good um, same goes with like miscellaneous stuff if you want to go ahead and create a sub doc just for like say functions or whatnot let's say like you know game booster or you know stuff you use um, all you have to do is just find the item that you want let's say for example um, RoboForm all you have to do is just check that click it drag it up to there until it opens and just pop it in and you're good once you're all done um, you should go ahead and right click on the side and lock the icons and that's about it um, so I hope this helped um, if you guys have a desktop that's somewhat cluttered I would suggest going ahead and buying this dock it's under winstep.net go ahead and buy it via go to a shortcut um, let's see version info I'll do that oh under preferences you can visit the site at winstep.net I believe they have their docs um, for sale for I like, think about 20 bucks give or take the next is ultimate doc let's see buy ultimate $24 um, it, the thing is with this doc is that it's yours forever however only for one year you're able to get updates for one year after one year you will not get any more updates so no more fixes and bug um, um, developing patches will not be included you won't get any updates so that's basically it um, and you can see the comparison with what it gives um, so yeah so I would just be comfortable with the Nexus Ultimate Edition um, that's that's suitable for someone who is trying to get a little bit more organized so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions let me know um, I'm sure some of you guys will go ahead and comment about the theme that I have I haven't quite dwelt in the whole area of um, showing you guys how to get themes this theme was purchased um, by this uh, or from this one guy on Deviant Art. Uh, I will go ahead and make some videos on how to customize your Windows 7, but for right now, I just wanted to go ahead and focus on some organization um, slash customization on keeping your desktop a little bit more organized. That way, you can enjoy your background, whether it be a still pick or an animated pick, and uh, also you can use it for um, other stuff you can put more gadgets in here and make it more useful instead of having all these icons involved alright so if you guys can can you comment on it give me some feedback give me some um, suggestions on whether you want to see another video um, and I'll see if I can go ahead and do it alright take care guys bye